Hey, we did a video a while back on how you could show and hide sections. What we're going to do is show you an alternate bit of code where you can show and hide containers. So what we have on screen is a button that just says part one. You click that and it gives a bit of text and an image and we get another button for part two. You click that and you get another bit of text and image. And look, if I click that again, it hides it. And if I click part one, it basically hides that. The idea is, is that you can start to reveal other items or sections or containers in this case, as you hit, hit each button like that. There you go. And it's a super cool way of just hiding sections or containers. By the way, where you get the code for this, it has got code for section and container. So take your pick. But if you want to have a page where you've got loads of content, but you don't want to reveal it all in one go and you just want to drip feed it, this is a really, really cool solution. So how does this work? It is something that you would build in stages. And rather than building from scratch, I'm going to go over the components. What we have here is just a page, okay? There's no header footer. It's just a page. You can have one with a header and footer. It doesn't matter. The key thing is that whenever you're building this at the very top of, well, before you start to do the layers where this is all going to kick in, make sure you've got a HTML widget. So you could have a hero banner, another container, another container, and further down, you're going to have a load of containers where you want to use this feature. Make sure at that point you go and drop in a HTML widget. And this is basically the code you're going to drop in. Like I said, there will be a link in the video description, element.how. Maxine created this code. Go over there. Uh, and you can get the code for free, okay? You're not having to pay for it. You can get this totally for free. And here you go, there's the code. It's pretty, pretty simple if you start to understand JavaScript. But this, here's then what you do. So let me now just open up my navigator so it's easier for you to understand, okay? Over here is where we have our container and inside of there I've put in the HTML widget and then I've also dropped in a button. So that container contains the HTML and the button. This button is what is going to open up container two. And inside of container two, there is a button. Look, let me show you. Container two, which is now this over here, this is container two, has a uh, text editor, which is here. We have an image over there, and we have a button down here. This is all within a container. And just to clarify, this container that it's going to reveal okay, is set as a row with wrap text. And the reason it's a row is because I've got the text and the image next door to one another. And then I've got my button underneath because these, uh, the text and the image add up to 100% roughly, whereas the button is greater than 100%. So it wraps onto the next row. And I duplicated that for container. So container one, container two, container three, and container four. They're all the same except container four does not have a button because the very last one just ends with uh, text and image. I hope that makes sense. And the idea is, is that every time you now click one of these buttons, it will reveal the next container. And when you click it again, it hides it. The way it works is the container it hides must be directly below the button. OK, so if you if the container, uh, if there was something else here and then you had the container, it's not going to work. Now, there are a few other little things you do need to make sure you do. Every button that you add, when you go over to advanced, you must put the class name show me. It's right there. Show me. OK, you must put that class name in uh, for every button. You can rename the buttons whatever you want to do, right? You can put whatever wording you want to put in there, whatever color scheme, hover effect, whatever you want to do, you can do it. But you must have the show me activated. And when we get down to the container, well, actually, there's nothing you need to add there. You don't need to add any ID or any class. You don't add nothing to the container. That's literally it. So I have, again, a container with the HTML and button one, which is show me. Underneath that, I have container two, which has everything you can see over here and a button. And this button has a bit of different text, but it is still show me over here. And that repeats for the next one, the next one, the next one. Once you do it once, just duplicate it. Now, there is something else you will notice, because if I hit update right now and I go back over to my page, everything is present. I can... I can hide, I can reveal and show, but everything is here from the get go. Here's the neat little trick. You got to go over to your second container because the first one contains the HTML and you want to make sure that in responsive in the advanced tab, 
you have set it all to be hidden like that. And what you want to do is once you've done that is just copy it unless the styling of your containers is very different and just paste the style like that, like that and like that. So they are all hidden now for the mobile, the desktop and the tablet as well. Now, before we go back onto the final how it looks, because you already know how it looks, this is containers. So you could put a video in here, you could put an accordion in here, you could do whatever you want within these containers. The basis of it is, is that when you click the button, then it is revealed. And that is how super cool it is. And we go back now, everything is hidden and it won't reveal until you click to see it, right? Look, that's how it works, okay? So you can show different containers or different imagery or different content. Maybe this is for like a shop where you're revealing a product, you're building up hype for something. Hey, do you want to read more? This could contain a contact form that you can't see until you see it. I mean, can you imagine on a hero banner now where we have like a button that says contact me and normally it takes them to another page or further down the page. Now they could click it and the contact form appears in the hero banner. It's strange, but hey, you could do that. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back, put me in the ring.